So the term metabolic flexibility has been hijacked. And the way that it is described now colloquially is not what that phrase ever started to be, and it's not what that is intended to be. It's so crazy because metabolic flexibility has get, got turned into maximizing fat burning. It's supposed to be metabolic flexibility, which means you have the ability to run the whole gamut. I get it. If you pluck the average person off the street, they're probably less likely to be good at burning fat than they are carbohydrate. So on aggregate, we probably need to get more people better at burning fat. I'm, I'm with you on that one. But metabolic flexibility is not just maximized fat burning. Those are not the same thing. That, and that's how people will often describe that. If you go too hard on one side of the other of the equation, you'll see a whole host of adaptations that compromise the ability to do the other things. That's not metabolic flexibility. That is still specialization. You're just specializing in the other side of the equation. If that's what you want to do, fine. We're, you know, we're all for it. But we generally like to pe see people truly flexible on both sides. So if you want to go higher fat in your performance because you feel better, you like it, great. If you can demonstrate no issues, we're all for it. But if we're doing it for a theoretical idea and you don't actually have information behind that, then like we're not going to support those ideas.